In this video, we'll factor and solve the equation x squared minus 20x plus 100 equals 0. So the first thing we want to do is we want to set up our skeleton equation. Once we have this, we can add the signs. If the middle term right here, the middle term is negative, that means we'll put negatives right here. So that's done. Now we need to find the factors for 100. So I've already done that. That looks like this here. So we have these different factors for 100, and we want to know which ones will add up to give us this middle term. So the only thing that's going to add up here would be 10 and 10. So we could put 10 here and 10 here, and this should be correct. But we can check that using the FOIL method. To do that, we'll multiply the first terms, x times x, that gives us x squared, the outside terms, minus 10x inside, that's minus 10x, and then the last term, we have minus 10 times minus 10, that'll give us a positive 100. So we've got this far, and that'll equal the zero there. So if we look at this, x squared and then minus 10x plus minus 10x, that's the minus 20x. So this is done correctly. Now we need to find the solutions and check our work. At the beginning of this video, we ask what values of x here would make this side here all add up to zero. So if one of these terms here equaled zero, we'd multiply it, we'd get zero, we'd be done. So we could say x, if x minus 10 equals zero, add 10 to both sides, x would equal 10. So if we put 10 in for x squared minus 20 times 10 plus 100, if you add all of these up, it does equal zero. So this is the solution for this equation here. We also have the same thing here. So if this were 10, this would be zero and it would be a true statement. So the solution here, x equals 10. This is Dr. B factoring and solving the equation x squared minus 20x plus 100 equals zero. Thanks for watching.